Today, we will talk about top 10 ways to earn $5,000 in a month. As an entrepreneur and educator, I'm very passionate about creating and teaching others about passive income. I think it's so important that we learn how to work smarter, not harder, and that we also figure out how to earn more while working less. The different ideas I'm going to share with you will help you do exactly that. If you happen to be new to passive income and want to learn more about how it works, make sure to watch my video Top 10 Ways to Earn $5,000 in a Month. 1. Freelancing Freelancing offers a flexible way to earn income based on your skills and expertise. Whether you're a writer, graphic designer, programmer, marketer, or consultant, there's likely a demand for your services. Platforms like Upwork, Freelancer, and Fiverr provide marketplaces where you can connect with clients seeking your skills. To maximize your earnings, focus on building a strong portfolio, delivering high-quality work, and cultivating long-term client relationships. 2. Start a YouTube channel Once you create a YouTube channel, you can allow YouTube to run ads on your videos. These are the ads that you see playing before a video, the ads in the column on the right-hand side or below the video. If someone clicks on the ads, then the YouTube creator gets half of the money that the business paid to run the ad. Keep in mind that different channels earn different amounts, depending on their niches. 3. Start a membership website This is a private site that you regularly add new content to. For people to access that content, they have to subscribe to the website. Oftentimes, there is content that people can access for free to give them a taste of what is available. But to get additional content or the premium content, they need to pay a monthly membership fee. Depending on what your membership site is about, what it offers to its members, and how premium the content is you can charge different amounts. The range can be anywhere from $300 to $1,000 per month. One fantastic thing about a membership site is that it creates that recurring revenue month after month, and you don't have to necessarily do anything additional to maintain it. With that being said, some of the best membership sites do add new content every month. 4. Marketing Marketing is the act of satisfying and retaining customers. It is one of the primary components of business management and commerce. Marketing is typically conducted by the seller typically a retailer or manufacturer. Products can be marketed to other businesses or directly to consumers. That may mean doing some free work with some reputable mid-tier brands to start. 5. Create a lead gen website for service businesses. With this option, you would work with another business that was offering a service or a premium product to their customers. You would create a website of your own, which would essentially be an advertisement for your partner's business. Your website provides prospective customers with some free resources or potentially the opportunity to book a free consultation call. You would then drive traffic to that website so you can get leads for the company that you're working with. Afterward, the company would pay you for the leads. In order to do this successfully, you will need to have a working knowledge of digital marketing so that you know how to drive the right traffic to the website. 6. Join the Amazon Affiliate Program you can get a cut of Amazon's profits by joining their affiliate program. After the quick sign-up process, you can share your affiliate links with people who you think would be interested in purchasing certain products. You're then paid a commission of 4 to 8% of the sale price. The more products your prospects buy on Amazon, the higher the affiliate commission is. One of my favorite things about Amazon's affiliate program is that even if someone clicks on your link and doesn't buy what you recommend, you can still earn an affiliate commission if they purchase anything from Amazon within the next 24 hours. Keep in mind that to earn enough affiliate income to make $2,000 you need to do an excellent job in recommending products to people who want to buy them. 7. Market a niche affiliate opportunity Instead of making a small commission on a lot of products with Amazon affiliates, you can instead choose one premium product, usually a digital product, and to focus on marketing. You can start a YouTube channel or blog based around that product and topic, start building an email list, or promote it on a social media platform. Your goal is to build an audience that will be interested in the product and who trusts you so that they will feel confident in purchasing the digital product you're recommending. 8. Create an online course 
Creating a course is another great option to generate passive income. You can sell it on your website or on a third-party platform. Each option has advantages and challenges. If you sell on your own site, then you keep 100% of the profits but have to drive traffic to generate sales. Alternatively, if you sell your course on a third-party platform, such as Udemy, finding customers is much easier, but you won't earn nearly as much per sale. When you sell on your site, you can charge much higher prices. Courses typically sell for $100 to upwards of $5,000. Your price is dependent on what your course is about, what value it gives to the students, and how well you market it. 9. Invest in real estate I've owned several rental properties in the past and in my area. It is typical to earn about $2,500 of profit per month per rental. But of course, there are plenty of things that can throw off that average. At first glance, it might look like the other ideas above are better than investing in rental real estate because the risk to reward ratio is a bit skewed. Fortunately, some benefits you can take into consideration are that you can build equity in a property that could also be appreciating in value at the same time. 10. Sell photos online. Today, more than ever, photographers of all levels are in high demand. The reason? Bloggers, graphic designers, marketers, publishers buy and use photos online every day. Specifically, those on a shoestring budget, like bloggers and small to medium-sized website business owners, are purchasing stock photos for their site or marketing materials, like brooches. But where exactly can you sell your photos online? Unsplash, Shutterstock, Istock, Adobe Stock, or Dreamstime are some of your best choices. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.